Hello everyone, it is August 2nd, sorry I'm a day late because I have procrastination problems. But it is time for the July collection update video. I have a little bit of everything but wall scrolls. Like I said, it's probably going to be one every now and then, probably like one every, a year, honestly, at this point. But I did get a little bit of everything else. I have an update for the Pokemon card video and then other things, I guess. Um, so we'll start with the DVDs and the, the one DVD and the one Blu ray I got. We'll go on to CD second and then close it out with video games because uh, I honestly expected to get very little this month, but uh, I ended up getting more. Uh, due to some interesting stuff that I'll explain when I get to all the individual things. So, let's get started with the DVD and the Blu-ray. Of course, I got two more Robin Williams movies, and actually two movies I've seen for once. So, we'll zoom out a little bit. I got Patch Adams on DVD, and Good Morning Vietnam, the 25th Anniversary Edition on Blu-ray. Um, I don't even know when this one came out. 2012. Okay, so it came out like three years ago. But uh, I actually watched this on Netflix uh, about a month after he passed away. Really, really good. It's definitely one of his much, much better movies. Um, and Patch Adams, a lot of people had issues with it because it doesn't exactly follow the character too much, but I don't care. I think it's a really good movie. Other than that, Robin Williams does a fantastic job. And it says based on a true story. Well, it should say inspired. Probably inspired by a true story would be better at that point. But both really good movies. Unfortunately, Patch Adams was never released on Blu-ray, so I couldn't get that. I'm getting all the movies I can of his on Blu-ray. Um, and then this movie is fantastic as well. Uh, he does a very, very good job in this movie and in this movie, in my opinion. That is it for movies. Uh, go on to CDs. Uh, like I said, it was an interesting month for me because I only bought, technically bought two CDs, but I have four of them here. Um, I bought two of them, and then my father actually, um, he was looking for a CD from this band, and the only place he could find it was in like a, a CD lot on eBay, and it had two other CDs from that band that he already had. And he's like, I'll just send you the two that I already have. So I got two new Evergrey CDs, which is really nice. I got uh, two of them here. This is uh, Inner Circle and Recreation Day. Um, I actually believe this one came first. Um, really cool about this one is it's one of them little booklet things where you open it. It's got some nice artwork and stuff. And it has all the lyrics and pictures and apparently a bloodstain. What's really weird is that the CD's in like this instead of like an actual case thing. But whatever. Um, haven't, unfortunately, none of these CDs I've listened to because like I said, I have procrastination problems. I keep putting it off and putting it off. Uh, and then there's Recreation Day here. Um, the Evergrey Clan. That's interesting. Um, but this will definitely be really cool to watch. What's really cool about this one is that there's uh, acoustic and uh, our bonus live and acoustic stuff from France. And uh, if I remember right on, on Inner Circle here, all of the songs are songs from Recreation Day. So I actually think it goes Recreation Day than Inner Circle. So technically the CD should be like this. But really cool to have them both because I can't wait to listen to them because I really liked uh, Hymns for the Broken. I thought those were both very, very good. Or, that was really good. Sorry. But, yeah. Really cool to have these. Can't wait to listen to them. Then we go on to one I've been wanting, a band I've been wanting to try to collect a lot. And I have two of their CDs. That being Anathema, I picked up the CD before Weather Systems. This is We're Here Because We're Here. Interesting name for a CD. Uh, unfortunately, trying to buy this in America is really hard. It's apparently really hard to find um, on Amazon or anything. And then the, the actual jewel case doesn't even have the, the title or anything. But I had to buy this from Argentina on eBay. I got this all the way from South America, which is really cool. Um, but my father told me this was a really good CD too, so I cannot wait to listen to this. Um, I can't at all. I'm so excited could be so awesome. Then we go on to the final CD, 
and definitely the most popular band of these CDs. That being Nightwish, I finally decided to pick up another CD. This is uh, yeah, two C, three CDs ago. Yeah, this is the first CD with their second singer, Dark Passion, play. Uh, and it's another for some reason. It's one of these like uh, the one Sabaton CD where you flip it over and the track listing is upside down for some reason. But I've heard a few songs from this, like The Islander, The Last of the Wilds, and Seven Days to the Wolves, I've heard. Um, I do want to listen to this, because I never really liked the operatic singing from Tarja, and she doesn't, the, the singer for this album and the next one don't necessarily do that. So I'll probably get all of their CDs up to present, just because. But can't wait to listen to this CD, because it is Nightwish, and they're like really popular, so that'll, that'll be really nice to to have that and to, to listen to and stuff. But yeah, so that concludes CDs. I go on to video games. Um, like I said, I'm saying this again, it was an interesting month even for this because I, uh, I, I think it was last month I discovered this new retro game store up the street. It's further up the street than the other ones that are up the street. It, it, don't even ask. But it, uh, they ended up having import games there, and uh, I found one game I never thought I'd find in America, and a version of a game that I've been trying to find for a long time. So we'll start off with that one. And I already have this game, but this is the Japanese version. It's Japanese Pokemon Gold version. Uh, I just wanted a Japanese Pokemon game for some reason. And it's actually really cool that I have the Japanese uh, second gen, because I believe that means I can get Celebi. Um, but actually, I loaded into the game, and if you've played second gen at all, you know what I'm what I'm about to say. But if you haven't, whatever. Uh, the guy, whoever played this, was right just past Mahogany Town, about to get the Ice Pass to get to Black Thorn City. All the person had in their party was like a level 25 whooper. So I'm like, were they doing a solo run or something? So I go into the PC somehow, because I don't know Japanese, and. They had the starter in there at level 50 or something, and then the Red Gyarados with a, with a different sprite than I've ever seen, I think. And then a Celebi, which was really cool, so I almost don't want to delete the save file for this. Because it has Celebi in it. But still, really cool to have that, to have this. It's it's It feels a lot bulkier and heavier than the, the English, the American one. And it actually works in my Game Boy Color and stuff, so... Really cool to have. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it wasn't that expensive at all, you know? So, yeah, really cool. Then we go on to the game that I never thought I'd find in America. That being the Cowboy Bebop P PS2 game. Uh, unfortunately, I can't even play this, so I honestly don't even know if it works. I, there are ways to soft mod by PS2. I might do that to play import games. But... I, this has been on my list of PS2 games to get, just because it's Cowboy Bebop, and I never thought I'd find it, honestly. So, the fact that I even found it is really cool to me. Um, but yeah, I don't even know what the game's like, because it's in Japanese. I haven't even seen gameplay of it, actually, but people told me it was pretty good, so... I'm really happy to have this. Really happy. This is the highlight of my month. A uh, Japanese anime video game. But yeah, um, that that's it for the collection update. Um, I'm going to give a little bit of an update on the Pokemon card video now. And I'm actually going to show fo freaking Pokemon cards for the first time in a long time. But I have four packs here of the original base set. Pokemon cards. These are these are my not my most recent pickups, but pretty close. Uh, at about the middle point of last month, I got three quarters of the way done getting all the packs, and then at a, at the end, I got to ten packs. I have ten packs left to purchase. That's where I'm at right now. I have ten cards left, or ten packs. Sorry, I have ten packs left, and I'm done. Unfortunately, I'm at the really expensive stuff, but if everything goes right, I should be done by September I should have all the packs because I'm trying to spread it out a little bit now but I should have it so the video should be in October sometime because I want it here when my girlfriend is here I want her to be in the video and a couple of my other friends uh, also there should be a uh, another package opening video because my dad got to go to Germany and he's sending me a care package so I'm probably gonna do that on video um, also, there will be a collection update next month, 
because I just got some DVDs at a garage sale for a dollar. So, a dollar a piece. So, yeah, that's going to happen. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, until next month.